my channel today I thought that I would do a really quick video uh, just sort of like a little get ready with me video on how I've been doing my makeup recently this is a very simple look I've been wearing it to work a lot um, and in fact yesterday morning this schoolgirl came up to me and she was like hey um I just want to say like my friends and I saw you the other day and like I just want to say that like you're really pretty and like you're really good at makeup and I was like thank you but also are you pranking me right now because if you're pranking me that's really mean so I guess if this look has the approval of school kids then it must be a fairly decent look uh, to start off I'm going to be priming my skin with the Colourpop All Star Matte and Blur Primer um, I don't find that this primer does much to mattify my skin nor blur my skin or anything like that um, but it does sort of make a very nice sort of tacky base I find how's everyone's week been you know my my time has been fine today I finally uploaded a video that I had filmed months and months ago it was the green and gold makeup look video that I did that video was from like middle of January it's March now and I only just got around to editing it for my skin I'm gonna use the Chi Chi Cosmetics uh, super CC cream um, I get it in the color medium I find that it's a fairly decent match for my skin tone it's a very limited range of skin tones that they have in CC creams but they're supposed to like you know oxidize and sort of look more natural um, but I find that it's a fairly medium coverage CC cream I just take two pumps of it on the back of my hand for now. I usually then have to go in with the third pump just to get like my chin, oh uh, not my chin, my neck, um, just to make sure it's all blended. But I do take a beauty blender and I just sort of tap into it and just go ham on my face. I go crazy. Ooh, go stupid. Ah. The biggest difficulty about editing that old video from before was that I could look at that video and I could see that my nails are like a completely different color and a completely different shape to what they are right now. And it bothered me because I'm like I know it's from the past other people might not know it's from the past unless I acknowledge it and then also like in the video itself as I was filming it I was like oh it's like so hot in Australia right now because we were going through like 40 degree weather so obviously I was like oh it's so hot and just complaining about the weather the whole time so I had to like cut that out of the video and no one else is gonna know about this except for me but I just need to acknowledge it vent about it Say that it was there this CC cream does sort of like gray my skin out but I find that it looks fine if I wear it throughout the day I find that it's also just like kinder to my skin to you know wear a, a medium coverage CC cream rather than a full face of matte foundation where it's just gonna be drying out my skin and making it go gross over time and just clogging my pores at least this is clogging my pores up with like I don't know vitamins and moisturizers next for under my eyes i'm going to take the maybelline fit me concealer i use it in the shade 20 sand i'm also going to use the color pop no filter concealer in the shade light light 16 and i'm going to use that under my eyes together So now that my eyes and my face is done, um, I don't like leaving the CC cream this dewy because it just looks crazy and insane to me. So I'm just going to use the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in the color Light and I'm going to use that all over my face to set it. So I find that once I set all of my makeup and have all the powder down on it, I find that it looks less insane like the color just sort of blends in a little bit better on my neck it's hard to see under the lights but in real life it does kind of look better so i'm gonna bronze up my forehead and my cheeks uh with the ColourPop bronzer i think this is the only one that they make correct me if i'm wrong um and i'm just taking it on a bh cosmetics brush And then for my blush, I'm going to use another ColourPop product. This box is really dirty because it's just been sitting in my drawer. Uh, but this is the... doesn't have a name. It's basically... it was the blush duo that came like this, but it doesn't, it doesn't have anything written on it. But I'm just going to take basically the pink shade and uh, put that onto my cheeks. And 
And then to highlight my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Monster Cream uh, in the color Molten Gold. So beautiful. And I'm just going to take it on this little Anastasia brush and... One thing that I have just forgotten to do and just remembered now, I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer and run it down the sides of my nose so it's kind of like contouring but also not really. It's not a cool colour or anything like that, it's still like a warm bronzer but at least it gives some sort of dimension to my face. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows a little bit differently than I usually do. I usually use the dip brow pomade because I'm a basic bitch but I'm gonna take the Anastasia brow definer it's the one with like the triangular pencil and I'm gonna use that to fill in my brows I think that doing my eyebrows with a pencil has just taught me that it's okay to chill the fuck out sometimes, you know? Like, I don't need to use pomade all the time. And yet, there I was, always using pomade all the fucking time. I'm just gonna take the Model Co Brow Gel and use that. And then just to clean up any mistakes, I'm just gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again and I'm gonna use that to just sort of touch up the line underneath and make it the eyebrows a little bit sharper. So now that all that is done, that leads us to the eyes, which are basically, I think, the part that makes this look the prettiest. I have finally found a way to do winged eyeliner in a way that really complements my eye shape. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I basically bought this a year after it came out, but whatever. And basically out of all of these colors that are available to me, I'm gonna use two. So what I like to do is take Pukey all over the lid and sort of blend it up into the crease just, just slightly. I also take Pukey on a smaller brush and I put that underneath my lash line. Oh wait, on my lower lash line. And then taking the shade Creamsicle on a bigger brush, I just sort of put that into my crease. And I have that blend out. So my eyes just end up looking real yellow, real mustardy. And then, now is when I do my eyeliner. So I use the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing. And what I found to do my perfect liner is that I start basically in the middle of where my pupil would be and that's where I sort of wing it out and that's where I start it. Instead of having it dragged all the way from here and just having it look really thick on the inner portion of my eye, I have it start here and look really thick on the outer portion of my eye so it looks like a more elongated eye look. This took me years to learn how to perfectly make an eyeliner look for my eye shape but it is what it is and it does just make my eyes look so much prettier. Um, I get to have like a sultry sexy little like looking with my eyes you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Watch me fuck it up now that I'm filming it though. I will admit that this wing is a little bit long but I feel like it doesn't make my eye look too heavy because of the fact that it's not heavy on the inner corner. So what now I do is I start at the inner corner and I make a very thin line connecting the middle part to the inner part. That makes sense. Let me just do it. wing on my eye. 
get sort of the perfect looking winged eyeliner. I'm gonna finish doing eyeliner on this eye and then I'm also gonna put on my mascara which is the tried and true Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes and then I will also put on my false lashes. Uh, today I'm gonna be wearing the Ilua lashes in something. I'll look up the name of them. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this is what I look like with the lashes and all of my eyes done. This is basically what I've been wearing most days. Um, at the end of the day, I do have to like blot and powder my face because the CC cream does end up making me super dewy. But I'm fine with that. Since we're going to be starting to come into like autumn, winter in Australia, I'm fine with having like a bit of a dewy look, a bit of a more hydrating skin thing going on. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more makeup looks or anything else from me. Leave a suggestion in the comments down below. If you don't like seeing makeup videos, let me know what you would like to see instead. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe to me um, and uh, do all of that other stuff if you'd like to. Only if you'd like to. I'm not going to force it on you. With that being said though, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!